Here we go. Stand by. Let's shoot. Mix your shots. Lock it up. And the next table takes a look. And. Good match. Roll play back. Lights up on Washington Heights, up at the dawning, I'll wipe down the awning, hey y'all, good morning. In the Heights, I buy my coffee and I go, I buy my coffee and in the Heights, I turn on my radio. We are shooting a commercial for the Broadway production of uh, In the Heights, um, and uh, we, you know, we've got this gorgeous neighborhood, and so why not use it? So instead of the, the typical commercial where everyone's on the stage dancing, we wanted to film it uh, on location. It's very hard to shoot a TV commercial in a theater and not make it look hokey. And because this is a contemporary show about New York, we thought the only way to do it is to do it actually on the streets of New York and really create the energy that exists in Washington Heights for this unique show that's all about Washington Heights today. So they gave us a bunch of options. Um, this was a great choice because it has a bodega. Um, I'm sure you got a shot of that, but the bodega, of course, is a central theme of the show. The main character, Usnavi, is, a, is the owner of a bodega in Washington Heights. So it has a bodega, it has a fire escape where we're also doing some shooting. It's got a beautiful wide avenue for dancing. Um, so we were able to, we got lucky, we were able to find all of, all of the things we needed in, in a one block radius. This is really surreal. Like, I love these people so much, they're my family. We couldn't wait to get back together again. Um, and to be doing this piece here, Washington Heights, and to see, like, I've seen like four Vanessas walking by, I've seen a new Snavi, a Sunny, you know what I mean? This is like, it's the best homework, and it's the, I don't know, it's the best, like, um, the way to start this. Basically, the, the track for the commercial is um, uh, the, the music directors and I worked on a 30 second version of about three different songs in the show squished together into a 30 second greatest hits coming at you thing. And, uh, and so right now they're setting up a shot. It's literally three seconds, but we've been setting it up for a couple of hours now. Um, that's um, a little section of uh, 96,000, which is one of the show, songs in the show. It shows all of us being the people of the neighborhood and um, when you come to the show, you'll see us in the neighborhood. It's pretty much like the show. <laughs> They're just taking all of us, the elements from the show, putting in real life street scenes, and uh, you know, just making it come alive for this uh, very, very short commercial. So it's gonna be very, lots of flashes and lots of excitement all the way through. You know, it takes a while to get up here. So, you know, you think about it and you uh, look around and see all the different people and, you know, just to get up and take the elevator and uh, to get onto the street. And I started thinking about all the songs and in the Heights and uh, where Lynn uh, came from. And uh, it, it just made uh, made everything much clearer. Is this like a high definition? <laughs> it's a um, letterbox sound scan uh, GHX. Nice. I wonder it looks dope. I know what I need. Sounds dope, though. Sounds good, right? <laughs> sounds, sounds like I think the sounds. aspect ratio was 1.1. Oh, oh, oh. 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 You look like you're about yes. to eat somebody. You look like you're about to eat somebody. That's yes. a good man. Yes. I grew up uh, literally down the hill from here. I grew up on Payson Avenue just off Dykeman, which is technically Inwood. Um, and uh, I took piano lessons 10 blocks that way on 181st and Cabrini. Uh, and so uh, this is uh, amazing. But when I wrote the first draft of the show, I walked around here and these are the buildings I envisioned. That's one of the things that's exciting about this commercial is that if you're going to try to capture the essence of our show, you know, going to the real place and having us inhabit that world for a little bit, I think is is just right. So it's exciting and it's it's kind of crazy to see people in their show costumes like walking up and down the street and like jumping by me and it's in my peripheral vision. But it's a lot of fun and it's neat to see us kind of take over a block like that. I think uh, from from where our sets were going, our costumes, everything, the energy is is a direct. It, it's such an easy transfer from what we were doing to to here. This feels just as natural as being in the theater. It's really exciting. Um just being all here together, and, and it's such a it's such a trip to see the real Piragua guy walk by while there's a fake Piragua <laughs> uh, on set, and uh, and it's it's really it's really fantastic to be where he lives. The first time that I see it, I will probably get a VHS tape, put it in the VCR, and wait for them to show it again, <laughs> and press record, <laughs> or just leave the TV on recording for like six hours, and then go back on the tape and watch it to see if I see it again. For me, watching the commercials, like okay, we're coming. Yeah, just a couple more weeks, a couple more weeks, we're gonna get back in rehearsal and then we're gonna be on stage and 
we're gonna show we're gonna show what, what what we're here for and why we deserve to be on Broadway. To film a commercial and to say like, wow, we're actually we're actually moving and this is actually happening. I mean, I started with this project in '94. It's a reading and then onto a workshop. And you always hope and you always pray that this is the this is the one and this is the one. This is the one that's going to that next step and. You know, the creative team's just so amazing and young and, you know, hungry for this, this next opportunity. So I'm just thrilled. I'm thrilled. You hear that music in the air? Take the train to the top of the world and I'm